Gear up for a roller coaster of revelations that will set your entertainment radar ablaze. Embark on an exhilarating cinematic journey with me into uncharted realms of speculation and excitement this week. Jurassic World 4 seizes the spotlight with a rumored title and filming date. James Gunn unveils an enticing first look at the iconic costume. Tron 3 divulges plot details and provides a sneak peek at Jared Leto's role. Brace yourself for the nearly complete Venom 3 filming, showered with acclaim for Tom Hardy's performance. Blink and you'll miss the pulse-pounding moments of these blockbuster revelations. Director Paul King is tantalizing our taste buds with the prospect of a Wonka sequel. But don't expect to rush to the chocolate factory just yet. In a chat with comicbook.com, King discussed the patient and thoughtful approach taken by producer David Heyman, saying, One of the things I love most about David Heyman, my producer, is that he has made so many great movies that he doesn't feel the pressure to just make a movie because it can be made. For now, King is happy that Wonka works as a standalone story, but he does have ideas about how he would bring Willy Wonka back for more. He just doesn't quite have a story yet. We can wait a beat, and if we don't come up with a story, this is a movie with a beginning, a middle and end that works on its own, and if we come up with something that we think can be exciting. Of course, there are some ideas sloshing around, but we don't have a story yet, so we'll see what happens. Prepare for a gothic romance and dark mystique, as the first look photos from the highly anticipated remake of The Crow are unveiled, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the reimagined world of James O'Barr's iconic graphic novel. Bill Skarsgård and FKA Twigs take center stage, embodying the hauntingly beautiful characters in this fresh take on the beloved tale. The first two photos capture the on-screen chemistry between Skarsgård and Twigs, portraying them in a moment of romantic bliss. The images promise a compelling and emotionally charged narrative that delves into the depths of love and loss. However, it's the third photo that truly sets the stage for the dark gothic ambiance of the Crow remake. Bill Skarsgård transforms into the brooding and enigmatic Crow, adorned with tattoos and accentuated by intense dark eye makeup. The striking visual hints at the character's complex journey and the supernatural elements that define the Crow lore. After enduring roughly 15 years of false starts and navigating the treacherous waters of development limbo, the Crow reboot is set to spread its wings on June 7, 2024. Fans of the original and newcomers alike can anticipate a fresh perspective on the timeless tale, with Scar's Garden Twigs leading the charge into the mesmerizing world of eternal love and vengeance. Venom 3 is wrapping up its cinematic web, and Juno Temple is here to spill the extraterrestrial tea. In an exclusive chat with Variety, Temple, who's been riding the Venom roller coaster, dishes on the wild and wonderful journey of filming alongside none other than the dynamic Tom Hardy the man of many faces, Eddie Brock and Venom. She revealed, we're coming close to an end at the moment. It's been a wild, wonderful ride. It's so new to me. It's a big set. This is crazy. It's been so much fun and I got to work with such cool people. I've been so lucky in my career to just have the most incredible casts. I can't wait for it to get out into the world. I think it's going to be a good one. Continuing, she added, his relationship to how he feels about Venom and Eddie together it's something that feels really close to his heart. It matters to him. I don't know if anyone else could play Venom. That's a tough pair of shoes to follow. While the plot remains shrouded in mystery, the tantalizing post credit scenes from Venom Let There Be Carnage and Spider-Man No Way Home hint at unexpected twists. Venom 3 is set to hit theaters on November 8, 2024, and the countdown to this symbiote showdown is officially on. Hold on to your dino-sized excitement, folks, because Jurassic World 4 is wrapping up for a blockbuster journey, and the latest buzz is giving us a dynamic sneak peek. According to Hollywood's backstage oracle, Daniel Richtman, the highly anticipated sci-fi sequel is rumored to bear the title Jurassic City. But hold your fossilized horses. This won't be a reptilian version of Escape from New York as initially suspected. In a plot twist wilder than a raptor chase, the Jurassic City vibe is breaking free from online speculation, promising a fresh experience. And guess what? The plot details are wrapped up tight, leaving us dino detectives hungry for clues about who might be stomping back onto the scene. Behind the curtain, Universal Pictures seems to be eyeing Jurassic World 4 as the ultimate reset button for the Jurassic Park legacy. This means that fan favorites Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard 
might not be reprising their roles, adding a layer of mystery to the entire saga. Cameras are set to roll this July, confirming the dino drama's real deal status after January's official green light. Mark your calendars, because the dino extravaganza is set to unleash in July 2025. Get ready for a roaresome ride into the prehistoric unknown. James Gunn just pulled off a superhero-sized surprise. Superman's upcoming cinematic saga is shedding its legacy and soaring back to the roots with a straight-up, no-frills title, Superman. Cue the fanfare and light up the bat signal, or should we say, the S signal. In a dazzling reveal on his Threads account, Gunn excitedly shared, overjoyed to be announcing the start of principal photography on Superman today, February 29th, which just so happens to be, coincidentally and unplanned, Superman's birthday. When I finished the first draft of the script, I called the film Superman Legacy. By the time I locked the final draft, it was clear the title was Superman, making our way to you July 2025. Happy birthday, Clark. Bid farewell to the trend of colon-laden titles. Superman is stepping out in cinematic glory, embracing the straightforward elegance reminiscent of the 1978 classic starring Christopher Reeve. With a sprawling lineup of characters, Gunn's Superman announcement hints at the colossal impact of the one true S-bearer in the superhero realm. Brace yourselves for a super-powered rendezvous in theaters on July 11th, 2025. Happy birthday, Clark! Your cinematic comeback is about to be legendary, and fans can't wait to welcome you back. Get ready to digitize your excitement, because the much-anticipated Tron sequel, Tron Ares, is finally pulling back the curtain on its dazzling world. In a neon-lit reveal, a first-look image showcases a mysterious character donning a sleek light suit and a face-covering mask. And rumor has it, it's none other than Jared Leto, our soon-to-be digital maestro. Ares. But the real thrill lies in the plot details, unveiling a mesmerizing narrative that transcends the boundaries between the digital and real worlds. Tron Ares will follow the enigmatic program, Ares, catapulted from the grid into the real world on a hush-hush mission that marks humanity's groundbreaking encounter with AI beings. Brought to life by the wizards at Walt Disney Pictures, Tron Ares is the latest chapter in the iconic sci-fi saga that traces its roots back to the digital dawn of 1982. Steering this high-tech ship is none other than Joaquin Browning, the helm wielder behind Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. In his own words, Tron Ares builds upon the legacy of cutting-edge design, technology, and storytelling, as we brace ourselves for a return to the electrifying grid. Tron Ares is slated to hit theaters in 2025, promising a fusion of futuristic design mind-bending technology, and a narrative that will leave us longing for more bites of this cinematic adventure. Get ready for some slapstick hilarity, because the long-awaited reboot of the Naked Gun franchise is officially on the move, and this time it's got Liam Neeson in the comedic crosshairs. Paramount has set a release date of July 18, 2025, for the untitled project that's set to breathe new life into the classic series. The directorial reigns and executive producer hat for this laughter-packed venture belong to Akiva Schaefer, who's teaming up with the dynamic duo Dan Greger and Doug Mand. Based on the uproarious Naked Gun franchise and the TV gem Police Squad by Jim Abrahams, David Zucker, and Jerry Zucker, this reboot is gearing up to tickle the funny bones of a new generation. But that's not all. Paramount has more cinematic treats up its sleeve. Paw Patrol 3, a production by Spin Master Entertainment in collaboration with Nickelodeon Movies, is all set to hit screens on July 31st, 2026, with Paramount Pictures handling distribution. And for fans of those crime-fighting, pizza-loving turtles, the next installment in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles saga, titled Mutant Mayhem, is scheduled to grace theaters on October 9th, 2026, directed by Jeff Rowe and produced by Point Grey Pictures. So mark your calendars, comedy lovers and animation aficionados. Paramount is serving up a cinematic feast that promises laughter, adventure, and of course, a fair share of turtle power. The King of Monsters is teasing us with a possible encore. Following the roaring success of the Japanese blockbuster, Godzilla Minus One, director Takashi Yamazaki has hinted at the potential for a thrilling sequel that could unleash new kaiju chaos. In an interview with Empire, Yamazaki dropped tantalizing hints about the future, suggesting that the calm at the end of part one 
might just be the precursor to an epic storm. While there's no official confirmation yet, the director's curiosity about the fates of Shikishima, Noriko, and of course, Godzilla himself, has set the fandom abuzz with speculation. The looming question of the gathering storm implies potential new dangers, and the Toho monster tradition hints at the possibility of iconic creatures taking center stage. However, Yamazaki emphasizes the importance of maintaining a delicate balance between human drama and the spectacular battles of the kaiju. For him, the challenge lies in intertwining a serious tone of kaiju versus kaiju with a profound human narrative. The love for Godzilla Minus One has turned it into a cinematic sensation, captivating both critics and fans alike. With the possibility of an Oscar for Best Visual Effects looming on March 10, 2024, Godzilla's reign might just extend into another thrilling chapter. Fingers crossed for more monstrous magic. Vin Diesel is stirring up some magical excitement as he teases the possibility of more adventures for The Last Witch Hunter. The Fast and Furious star recently took a stroll down memory lane, sharing a throwback image on Instagram that showcases him donning the long hair and beard of the film's main character, Calder. In the caption, he wrote, Throwback Thursday, I've been blessed to embody so many iconic characters, some universal and some that only some of you know. It was an honor to bring an immortal to the screen for Lionsgate. Someday I will explain where my head and heart was and why the character of Calder was so significant to me. It was a powerful moment in my life, as many of you know. Can't wait until you see where the immortal goes next. All love, always. Released in 2015, The Last Witch Hunter weaves a tale inspired by Diesel's own Dungeons & Dragons character. Calder, having defeated the all-powerful Witch Queen centuries ago, finds himself cursed with immortality. The modern world becomes the stage for a high-stakes battle when the Witch Queen threatens to rise again, putting the survival of humanity in peril. While details about the potential sequel remain shrouded in mystery, Diesel's cryptic post has fans eagerly awaiting the next chapter in Calder's immortal journey. Brace yourselves to reunite with the immortal warriors, because Matthias Sordenax, star of The Old Guard, has given a huge update on the highly anticipated sequel, The Old Guard 2. Speaking to Collider, Sword Arts revealed, We shot it approximately a year and a half ago, and I think they're hitting the last stage of post-production. As far as I've understood, I think there's been a switch at Netflix high up. I think there's a different CEO, so that leads to a reconsidering of release, and how and when. And that's not up to me. I don't know, but I know we're hitting the last stage of post-production, so it's gonna show up at some point. The people I work with, there are friends of mine. So it's always nice to work with friends and to work with a great production team and lovely director, Victoria Mahoney. I'm very curious to see it, actually. I haven't seen anything yet, so I'm curious. Charlize Theron is set to reprise her role as the indomitable Andy in this direct follow-up to the 2020 hit. Fans of The Old Guard can catch the original on Netflix while eagerly awaiting the arrival of The Old Guard 2, which as of now does not have a confirmed premiere date. Get ready for another round of immortality and action-packed thrills. So which movie has your heart racing with anticipation? Let me know in the comments, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.